everyone, my name is Naomi and today I'll be talking about Clubhouse. Yes, I joined Clubhouse. I think I've been on that thing for two weeks and a half. I joined that app because my friend was like, oh Naomi, are you on it? Apparently like it's this like new thing and like I want to join. So I was like, okay, you know what? If you're gonna join, I'm gonna join. So I got an invite and I didn't pay for it and I invited my friend so we joined on the same day and guess what I did first? Me being this pathetic fangirl, I searched if my fabs were on that app. So I searched Pedro Pascal, Oscar Isaac. Pedro's on it, but he never uses it. Oscar Isaac, he doesn't have Twitter or Instagram, so it's kind of obvious that he's not on that thing. So I was like, okay, who's next? Drag queens, Michelle Visage, those people who I really love. So I was just like, damn, I'm a really pathetic nerd. And that's me and I accept that. I'm just gonna love myself as I am. <laughs> so how the app works is that there are rooms, rooms you can join as a listener at first. And if you have questions or something that you wanna say, you can raise a hand and if moderators approve you, you can speak kind of thing and there are clubs so i'm yeah i joined um three clubs um one for marvel one for drag race because again i'm a loser I, and uh, one club for like japan but for english speakers mostly and it's pretty fun the thing that i find most beneficial or interesting is the fact that you can listen to people talking directly as in there are a bunch of um filmmakers production team members talking about specific films or that they're part of or um, photographers are joining in and talking about how they can kind of you know judge up their businesses and blah 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 and there's a lot to learn from but there are some things that make me go oof so first of all the app itself the privacy part is questionable my friend left the app because, you know, we heard the news that Clubhouse is recording all the conversations and have been selling those nanos to certain companies. So it's just like, that's pretty much like all the apps. I'm not condoning it, but I'm like, Clubhouse, seriously, just... And because it's voice only, like no texts, people who have difficulties with the speaking or listening or people are excluded that I found really not cute. Let's at least have text functions so that it could be more inclusive, but I know that that's against the whole, you know, concept of Clubhouse. So I'm still like, uh, let's be more inclusive, please. Excluding certain groups of people and erasing them are not cute. It shouldn't be happening, so it's just, Am I enabling that app? But I'm speaking against it, so I'm I'm enabling while criticizing. Ooh, I'm a horrible person. I already know that. And one of the issues of not having text functions is that let's say that someone's spreading false information and you have links to articles or essays or whatever is to kind of prove that that person's being incorrect you can't really do that you have to say verbally and if you're not a moderator and if the moderator is that person or agrees with that person they can mute your or kick you out so the information can be really closed off and that is harmful and because of that closed off kind of secluded nature of rooms people may interrupt people a bit too aggressively people may say some offensive derogatory discriminatory things i've heard and witnessed such things it's concerning the clubs that i joined do have rules against them so like they say like don't interrupt women or be respectful and whenever i read those rules i'm like what the hell happened here Actually, I know what happened. We all know what happened. So with that in mind, whenever I create a room, one of the top priority is 
to have safe space for transgender people. So whenever I create a room, I can set a title and whenever I'm talking about feminism or LGBTQ rights, which is like 99% of the time, I include trans flag into the title to show that at least like trans people are welcome. Like I want to show that I see you transgender people and I'm with you. It's really hard to set the tone of the room with the title because it has you know word limit so you can't be like let's talk about food but don't be nasty or like you can't do that and it's really up to the moderators to make sure that things like that won't happen which is okay but sometimes it's a bit too much so it's just like uh... so it's just another thing that clubhouse could work on Oh, so I've been in rooms and I've heard stories about the situation where someone said like something really out of touch or just baseless and that got ignored or that conversation led to a whole new conversation of messy things. And when that room ended, another room was created by some of the people from that room saying like sorry that happened sorry that got out of control or hey you didn't clock these comments and it's really awkward everything just falls onto the moderators right because they have to moderate the conversation and when things like that happen they have to gain the control but it's just it's too much like i admit i've moderated rooms a few times and I haven't had that much of um horrendous experiences but there are some moments that I was just like don't say that or what did you just say I try to be respectful and I'm pretty sure I missed some of the things that I should have clocked and I'm sorry to those who I couldn't make their experience on Clubhouse better so it's really difficult so I feel like Clubhouse should be a tool to hear other people's opinions and based on that you should do your own research and then kind of come up with your own experiences ideas and conclusions does that make sense like clubhouse rules ban you from um transcribing recording or otherwise reproducing and or sharing information obtained in clubhouse without prior permission so that clause itself is a bit questionable like so the whole goal of clubhouses to be this closed off community i feel like that's heading towards misinformation being spread rumors being spread entertained as truth and you really do have to have the mindset of i am here i'm sharing my own thoughts i'm hearing people's opinions i shouldn't take them as the whole truth and do my own research if you can't really do that i think you're just gonna go down the rabbit hole and become the next conspiracy theory kind of people like being respectful is definitely important not just on clubhouse but especially in um rooms for japanese speakers discussing feminism and lgbtq rights because it's been a mess to be honest and that's one of the reasons that i'm waiting for my approval of my club application because as soon as I started I hosted like three rooms and I applied to create a club for um, Japanese speakers and English speakers um, to talk about feminism and LGBTQ rights in Japan but like outside of world too so that I, I can set the rules saying transphobia is not allowed here be respectful if not I will kick you out and block you to have a safe space for the club members so i'm just like it's been two weeks where's my approval also i don't want to talk about um the mandalorian and like oscar isaac's movies and that kind of stuff so like if you're interested in that follow me on clubhouse because i definitely need someone to talk to because my friend quit if you're watching this i don't mind you quit i miss you but i met some great people in clubhouse like instantly when i like heard their points or like stories i'm like i'm gonna like you and i connected with them on twitter or instagram i just realized a clubhouse is a tool to cultivate knowledge to train your mindset to make you be a better moderator and stuff but it's not the goal through clubhouse 
I want to reach out to people. I want to talk to people, learn more, and create better ways to talk about feminism, LGBTQ rights, and equality, and everything outside of Clubhouse. Also, in Clubhouse as well, but I do hope they fix their privacy concerns ASAP so that my friend can come back on. <laughs> but yeah, if you're on Clubhouse, follow me at Nomad Flat. Like, I want to have a group set up where I can appreciate The Mandalorian and Pedro Pascal and Oscar Isaac. <laughs> I'm really... yeah, I'm pathetic. I'm a nerd. What did you expect? <laughs> oh yeah, and follow me on Twitter at, and Instagram at now to apply. Come say hi. And yeah, I talk about film. I talk about feminism in Japan and North America. Politics and what's happening in Japan because there's just an influx of uh, misogynistic comments made by pretty much all kinds of people. I'll be talking about that too. Yeah, I talk about a bunch of things, so subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like this video, comment, whatever things that you want to comment, but be respectful, please. I had a whole <laughs> anti-feminist attacking me in my last uh, video on my Japanese channel. So I'm like, if you're not going to be respectful, I'm just not going to tolerate them and delete them. It's my channel. So yeah. Anyways, I will see you in my next video. Stay safe. Bye, kids.